Well, hello there, YouTube. It's Friday, July 7th, 2023, and I have another quick video for you. Today, I'm gonna test injectors. You know, these things are really expensive. For these new brass ones, they're 45 bucks roughly each. The old ones are the steel kind, or at least it looks like steel. That's the one on the bottom there. You know, I'm just gonna test it with a simple pop tester. You've seen it before. You know, I get it. You know, there's there's no replacement, you know, for the real deal because it's not about, you know, pop testing because th these are not diesel injectors. We'll talk more about that later. You know, for now, hey, thanks again for subscribing. You know, we're getting ready to start this car live, I think, here on YouTube. So, you know, subscribe and click the bell and all that good nonsense. And, you know, this is just a quick little simple test. Something I thought I'd throw in there because I think it's just a good idea. In my case, the car's been sitting for 14 plus years. So I wanted to make sure that we're not gonna have any problems just starting out, so. A few months ago, I bought this on eBay. I did a make offer. I paid $40 for it. That's a little less than the price of an injector. It was simple for me to make. So I thought, you know, if I were to replace all my injectors, these things cost about $45 each. So you do the math. I did buy one, however, because you kind of need a baseline at least. It came with a, a few of these different tubes right here and then I made it from here on out. What that is, is this is a swivel. It looks like this. There's no reason for the swivel, it's just that I happen to have it. Everything here I had in my garage, so luckily I didn't have to go anywhere. I had it all and it's, and it's tight. That gives me a chance I can, I can swivel this so I can keep my line bled without dripping. There's a ferrule on the inside. And one, one thing you might notice is you see this is kind of extra long. It just so happens, I mean, that was in my cabinet and it's, it's perfect for the injectors. This tubing, again, I just had it around. This is fuel line. It's just quarter inch OD fuel line and it withstands all kinds of chemicals. I've soaked it in the chemicals ahead of time to make sure. I bled this whole system and again, there's a ferrule in there and the funny thing is, is I had a ferrule just perfect for this. It's kind of extra long and it seals it up really nice. And this is just 12 millimeter, and that's it. I'm using odorless mineral spirits. Um, however, I made a lid for this with a vent so you can do fuels, and then just turn that in like that. And that's it. I'll have a camera right here and a camera on the gauge, and then we'll see how this does. I'd say it looks pretty good. That's our first one. So let's compare it with something else. You know, it's been sitting for 14 years. You can tell. Just about like the other one. So if you open that valve, you can see where, where she fires and then, and then bleeds off, right? This just kind of gives you an idea. Now let's test it with a brand new one. That's the Bosch injector that I purchased. Just one, that's how it came. Let 
There is a difference. Do you see the type of head that has on this one here? And this one here is like inside, this one here is outside. It's a different part number. It referenced to this new part number though. So they gave me the right injector. So, I mean, look at the color too, right? Yeah, brass injectors are these steel kind. Well, let's see how the brass performs. Similar, but I would say it's better. Yeah, I'd say it was worth it. Yeah, no doubt about it. Uh, you know, for 40 bucks, it's a little bit less than it is for an injector. And, you know, it kind of gives you a little bit of peace of mind. You know, it's not gonna leak. They fire right around 60. So uh, th there's no other way to, to, to test this, really. I mean, you know, unless you invest in a lot of expensive tools. Of course, a pop tester is not a replacement for the real tool. What you really need is to do a flow test. You know, this is a continuous in injection system, so. You have to do a flow test and really, ultimately, you can test your injectors with a flow test. But in addition, you really need to test the entire system, right, to make sure that your fuel distributor is also flowing. But for, for this particular video, the only thing I was concerned about, just making sure that they're not leaking and that they're firing and that they have a decent spray pattern. And all of them had a pretty good spray pattern. You could hear the spray pattern as well as, as experience the spray pattern. I, I know as I go through it, you know, I pump it differently or faster and things like that. I'm trying to get a feel for it because this tester's really, it's a pop tester. So it just, brings it up to an enormous amount is how it was really originally designed and then fires and that's it. So it's not like, like this. In the way the car really works is there's the fuel pressure and it's regulated. It had a very, a very consistent uh, pressure like around 75 or five bars Roughly right as you know, so things got to fire right in there and then this thing will continuously give it You know what it needs based on how much Airflow is kind of coming in so this there's a lot going on here It's not just like dumping in the fuel and doing the whole thing But again, I wanted to make sure that you know, we're not getting squirts sticking out all over the place So and and also the car's been sitting around for you know 14 plus years So it's just been sitting there which means there could be other contaminants yet that I have not gotten out. So I've cleaned the, the fuel tank. I don't know if that was a good idea or a bad idea. Um, it's super dry here in Arizona, so I'm hoping that everything's cool there. I've already changed the filter along, you know, before I started doing these videos, all the fuel lines and everything. But I'm, I obviously need to flush that when I get started and then, you know, this way here, I'm putting in old injectors that I know are not a problem, really. Uh, the car did run before I got started, so I feel good about it. So I did this test as peace of mind and to show you guys really what you're gonna get from this kind of a test. You know, it's not a great test, but in my case, I paid $40. So it was less than the cost of injector. So in, it was worth it to me. You know, I still bought one injector. I had to, you gotta have a baseline. I had no idea how it really fires. The new one definitely fires better. There's no doubt about that. So, <clears throat> you know, and, and it stays good, but I think we're within tolerance. So I'm gonna put the old ones in. We're gonna hopefully get the car started, which reminds me, make, make sure you click that bell, uh, you know, and subscribe and everything, because we're gonna start the car live. And even afterwards, you know, after I start the car live, I will most likely change these injectors at some point. And I'll probably do a flow test and all that kind of stuff. So there's good reason to subscribe. I'm not just gonna go away because the car starts, right? And if the car doesn't start, what will I do? Uh, you won't know until that happens. You know, that's how I did this test. You guys know what you can get out of it. I think it was a successful test and uh, I can't wait to, you know, put these injectors in. So uh, until the next time, you guys, 
Thanks again for watching.